We got it all going back together now. We got three of the four gears installed. Tighten everything back down and hopefully it rotates. I took one towel off of that gear. Definitely put full torque on these bolts here, studs. Pull tight. No rotation there. Definitely got some drag on there. Oh yeah. to burn through. Still got a little drag in there though. Freeing up though. Definitely heavy right there. Not bad there. Heavy there. Definitely got some drag on there. Right here is our high spot. Definitely got some drag on that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely enough. I can't get that gear out of there. All right. Definitely got some burrs in there somewhere. I feel like a piece of grit rolling around in there, sticking it up. All right, let's see if it's the inner one or the outer one now. Just because it worked one time doesn't mean it works all the time. This doesn't look like it's any more than what it was before. Ah, it's the inner one. 
Oh yeah. It's the inner one in her binding. Mm. I don't think it was this one, I think it was that one in there doing, doing it. All right, pull it back apart again. That side handle, but I didn't have all these bolts tight. I only did two, not all four, so probably have to cause warp it, make it stick. It's definitely the idler gear, probably the one that's the problem, I'm sure. Yeah, gear slid out already anyway. You can see the rub marks in the oil pump. Pretty tight in there. I gotta see if it's the the main gear hitting also or just the idler. And the wear mark they're both pretty tight. Oh, I didn't rotate that around. Oops. At least this one rotates easy, relatively. Nope. Getting pretty good at putting this in there. Lost words. <laughs> now I won't go in.
semi-force the gasket, but don't force it too hard. Oh, dumbass. Do it right. Full mock up, just two gears in there. See what the problem is. Nice and clear. Still free. So good. Full time. Ah, that brought it in. Okay, that brought some tension in the game. Something's a little close. If I had to guess, it was that main one, that inner one that I haven't touched all day. <laughs> That's probably the one. Because this mark on this one hasn't changed, but that one over there, you can see it's almost worn all the way around, which means it's tight. So I bet you that's the one that's the inner one. When you put all the hardware on it, it tightens it down. You just undo a couple things like that. It's still in there. I'll do that one and that one. That freed it up right there. See, I was only using these two bolts to tight check, so when you put all four in there, that's when it gets tight. Okay, so now I know what needs to be done on that one. It's that inner one. Let's see, let me check the idler on this one. Okay, we know how much drag we have on it now. This gear in there and see what happens. And the gasket's in the way is the first problem. Oh, you dumbass. All the gaskets in, I said everything matters. We already know all the bolts have to be tight, we already found that out.
I'm gonna have all these gears within one to two thou, this for it, if not lower. <laughs> one thou. Okay, we only got these two here tight. It doesn't drag. And tighten these other two down, it drags. I'm going to tighten these ones up. Oh yeah, it locked us up. Big time lock up. Tight, we can rotate it. Okay, pretty much low drag there, steady but low. That freed it up a little bit. Pull the oil pump in even. Tighten up these outer two. feel too bad. Hmm. A little drag but not too bad. So the crank keeps rotating on its own a little bit. Crank keeps rotating. Didn't feel too bad, actually. Three of the gears are in there. Weird. Should have tacked it up. And I can pull that out. I can rotate it. There's drag, but I can rotate it. It's even drag. But I'm rotating it. It's weird. It was tighter before with two gears in there. <laughs> and all the bolts are tight now too. Before all the bolts are tight, you can barely move it. So I turn it with my fingers. It's, it's snug, but it's I'm pushing it through, but it's, it's rotating all the way around the whole thing. All right, so. That tells me the outer pair of gear isn't too bad. The inner one, I think, is the one that's dragging just a little bit right now. The problem is if I put this one in there, will it drag too or not? I don't know. And the one would it know. Take it all apart again. Maybe one more time. Drag marks, we already know what the marks kind of look like. See if we can tell anything. I'm 
a gasket soak in here pretty soon. Things are gonna. I had to re-soak them once already. You're good for about an hour and a half max. And we're coming up on that again already. They shrink back down. Oh, that's pretty good though. I haven't toured one yet, surprisingly. Oh. Almost forgot. That came off a lot easier. I was already binding it all this time. So this is the one I have not been grinding on it yet. You can still see the machine marks in here from new. So I'm going to take a thou off of this. And you can see the rub marks all through here pretty consistently. You can see how this one's pretty consistent on this side too. So I might take a thou off of that one also. Not sure. I don't like taking more off than I don't have to. Okay, this one's definitely thicker than that other one, so I think I'm going to leave this one alone. Yeah, this is one thou down to a thou and a quarter down. And this one's basically zero. Yeah, half, yeah, three quarter up there now. All right, so I'll take this down to what that one is. And maybe I'll give this just a tick more, maybe. Uh, This one did hit first. Yeah. Move that key. This one definitely has more of a wear mark in it than this side. So I might take I might take a half a thou off of this one too. So we'll run this a half thou or less less than what this one is. Alright, I'm gonna do that. We'll be back.